Hello everybody and welcome to our celebration worship assembly. Now the candle is lit because we know that Jesus is the light of the world and God is all around us. Okay, to start our assembly we are going to give out our value certificates. Again, and I know I always say this every week, but we see so many values happening across our school. But these children are the ones that have stood out to their teachers. So I'm going to start off with reception year one. Now, Mrs Price, Mrs Shields and Mrs Cox have decided to give their value certificate to somebody for the value of quality. And they have decided to give it to Teddy S. Well done, Teddy S. Now, they told me that you've been working really, really hard on your maths and English. And then they said, well, actually, he tries hard with everything that he does. So, Teddy, we are hugely proud of you. Well done. OK, class two. Now, Miss Llewellyn and Mrs Wood have decided to give their value certificate for the value of confidence. But... It's not just for one member of class two, but for two pupils in class two. And they have decided to give it to Layla and Olivia. Well done, Layla and Olivia. Now, what Mrs Wood and Miss Llewellyn have said, it's for becoming a valued member of class two and settling so well in such a short period of time. So well done girls. We're really happy to have you at our school. Okay, now Mrs Holcomb has decided to give her value certificate for the value of perseverance and she's decided to give it to Cooper. Well done, Cooper. Now, what Mrs Holcomb has told me is that Cooper has tried so hard this week with all of his assessments. They are just so, so proud of you for your perseverance. Good boy, Cooper. We're really, really proud of you. Keep on going. Now, class five. So, Mr Fletcher has decided to give his value certificate for persistence and he has given it to Morgan well done Morgan now very similar to previous uh, the previous certificate from Mrs Holcomb Mr Fletcher has said that Morgan you have been trying extra hard with your writing multiplication and division strategies this week so you have kept going and done really really well good boy Morgan we're really Proud of you. Keep on going. Now, Mrs Mills has decided to give her value certificate to the whole of class six. So all of you in class six, because she has just been overwhelmed with the determination, that is your value class six, the determination to do your SATs and your assessments this week. She said, you have done really, really well. And she's very, very proud of you, as we all are. So can we give everybody a huge, huge clap who has achieved a value certificate this week? Well done. Well done, everybody. I now have house point badges to give out. I've got quite a lot of them, actually. So I'm going to start with our bronze house point badge, which means that these pupils have achieved 50 house points or more. And the bronze badges this week go to, in year two, Jacob and Joshua. Well done, Jacob and Joshua. And in year five, Ane. Well done, Ane. So you get your bronze badges. Can we give them a big clap? So children who have achieved their silver badge, so these children have achieved 100 house points or more, and they are from year six. And for a silver house point badge, Charlie T, Lacey and Cora. So well done to all of you. Let's give you a big clap as well.
okay, a gold house point badge. Now this is for pupils who have achieved 150 house points or more. And the gold badge goes to, in reception year one, Matilda Hardwick and Finlay. And then in year six, Noah has also achieved his gold badge. So well done, children. Now, we have some pupils who have achieved their diamond house point badge. Now, to achieve your diamond house point badge, you have to have got 200 or more house points for your house point team. Now, I've got two children in year six who have achieved this. And these children are Katie and Megan. Well done, girls. You have achieved your diamond house point badge. Let's give them a huge clap. Now, you know, we don't just celebrate the achievements that happen in school here at Gillsborough, but also the achievements that happen outside of school. Now, I'm very proud of somebody in year two, and that's Zach, because he has taken part in a motocross competition. And we're really proud of you, Zach. But if you don't know what motocross is, I need you to listen very carefully to this video. Very recently, Zach in year two took part in his motocross competition. Now, motocross is a racing sport where participants ride motorcycles over rough terrain. The courses have to be one to three miles long and they need to have different obstacles for the riders. No two courses are alike and that can make motocross more demanding than other racing sports. So I'm going to show you a clip now of Zach when he was competing in his motocross competition. Really proud of you, Zach, well done. And just to mention that Zach came 10th, so brilliant news, Zach, good boy. <laughs> Amazing, Zach. Well done. You go very, very fast on those bikes. Good boy. We're very, very proud of you. Okay, it's that time, everybody. It's that time to announce who are our House Point team winners for the summer term. Now, also on this announcement, we will be explaining what the winning team will be doing as their treat. So listen very carefully. Fingers crossed for you all because it was so, so close. Here we go. Okay, Gillsborough, we are now going to announce the winners of the summer term house point treat. So we have fire, we have air, we have earth and water. Let's have a look at those points. So fire have finished with 460 house points. Well done, fire. Air, 469 house points. Well done, air. Earth, how have you done this, this term? 455, well done, earth. And water, 436. So that means that air is the winner. So air, your treat for this term is... You're going to go to Gillsborough Park with Mrs Price to have fun and games. So you will be going in your bubbles and it will be sometime next week. We hope you have a fantastic time and well done Air. I think it's been the closest it's ever been this term. Well done, everybody. Well done, Air. And you are going to have a fantastic time when you go out to the local park with Mrs Price. OK, it's now time for our reflection. So I'm going to hand over to Katie 
who is going to read our prayer. If you would like to make this your prayer, then say Amen at the end. In this season of celebration, we praise you. For work well done, we praise you. For friendship and fun, we praise you. For holidays to come, we praise you. Lord, as we travel on together, may we learn to celebrate and be thankful. Amen. Thank you, Katie. Now we've come to the end of our assembly, but I would like to say the Lord be with you. And I'd like to wish you all a wonderful weekend. Now we have two more weeks left at school. These are going to be very, very busy weeks and we've got lots of exciting things happening. But I'd like to say goodbye to you all and I will see you next week. And I'm going to hand over to Reverend Nat for her song. Please join in with the words and join in with the actions. Take care, everybody. See you all very soon. So let's find some space now as we sing our worship song together using our voices and our bodies as we sing Great Great Brill Brill, Wicked Wicked Skill Skill to have a friend like Jesus.